NYSC series. So I'm going to be taking you through the requirements you need as a married PCM to go through your service here seamlessly. So first of all, the first on my list is going to be one domicile letter. So domicile letter is gotten from the local government where your husband resides and is very, very, very important. Don't forget to carry your domicile letter. If you're doing your online registration so second on my list is going to be your marriage certificate so that one is very very complex third one is going to be your husband's id either voters card nin driver's license or international passports whichever one your husband has you go with one of so the fourth one is going to be your original work certificate original wire certificate so you go with it during your online registration the fifth one is utility bill the main thing in that utility bill is the address your husband is staying even if the utility bill was not registered based on his name or maybe you're using prepaid meter just the address is enough go with your utility bill sixth one is newspaper change of name from miss to missus it is compulsory it is compulsory because certificate of your discharge will come out with your husband's sole name. If you know you want to apply as a married PCM and you want to serve in your husband's state of residence, carry your paper change of name. And next one is your NIN. Please, some people do change their NIN. Don't change it. Let it be the name, your father's name. Don't change it to your husband's name because it will not go through. Let it be your father's name, so it will correspond with your statement of resort name. If it doesn't correspond, the registration will not go through. So these are the requirements for online registration. These are compulsory for married people because then they will create a dashboard for you at the Sabah Cafe. In your dashboard, you're going to see um, concessional deployment, pending, comments, pending approval. So it's going to be pending T. NYSC approves all those documents you uploaded during your online registration. And when it's been approved, you know that it is a sure thing that you're going to serve in your husband's state. But if, it's, if it is not approved, all you're going to do, you're going to take all those documents to the camp where your husband resides and all those documents you're going to upload online, take them with you to the camp where your husband resides and give it to them. They're going to go through the process again for you and send it back to Abuja and they'll tell you to go back and wait till the name in your dashboard changes to your husband's name then you come back to camp so that is all for that so specifically this is for people serving in Lagos if you're a married woman and you, your, your husband is based in Lagos just bear it in mind that you're not going to camp if you're pregnant if you're not pregnant you're not a nursing mother they will not allow you to come as far as you are married. They will not allow you to come. I'm just saying this for free. So you're not bother wasting money to buy kits for camp. So many people that bought kits and they end up not using it. My sets. They're in camp. I'm not in camp because I'm married. That is just that's how it goes. I don't know for other states. I'm just saying for Lagos, you're not going to camp. So lastly, it's going to be the requirement you take to camp. For your, in, uh, for your registration, when you're going to camp with color letter, green sleeve, added on, medical fitness certificates, such so, but for bank opening, for your platoon, you need to just go with at most six passports. So that is all for this series. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned one or two things from this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to comment. 